New at 5, Walmart announcing today four of its Chicago stores will close by Sunday. A shock to some shoppers and employees who did not see this coming. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is live at one of those soon to be former Walmart locations in Chatham Forest tonight. Sabrina? Well, this Walmart in Chatham isn't just a Walmart to loyal customers, it's an oasis in an otherwise food desert. It's also a health center and a Walmart Academy, which teaches different classes to people in the community for job certifications and other different courses so that they can better their lives here in the community that they live in. Well, this store, the Academy and the health center are all closing with an additional three stores by Sunday. It's still like a gut punch. I just can't believe it. I just came to the store and I see people crying I'm like what's going on? The parking lot of the Walmart Supercenter in Chatham packed with angry, discouraged customers driving by the mural on the side of the store. Our future painted there. No more. This store and three others in Kenwood, Lakeview and Little Village close by Sunday. We need it. We need we need the opportunity to shop in our neighborhood instead of driving so far away. Associates will be able to transfer to another Walmart or Sam's Club. The move isn't so easy for some, especially those that have been here for years. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't make it OK yeah. because this is our home store. Yeah, like I said, I've been there for seven years. This, been, this is yeah. my second home. Shakita Harris and Deidre Banks have both worked at the Chatham location for upwards of seven years. Harris celebrated her eight year anniversary just last month. It has so many benefits to help people better their lives. Like the Health Center and Walmart Academy, part of a $70 million investment for upgrades in the last couple of years. Walmart told us in a statement that their annual losses nearly doubled in Chicago in the last five years. That losing millions of dollars a year is forcing them to close these stores. Really puts a hole in the community when it's finally something where people can look forward to and have something that they can build on and just have a neighborhood store that we can have, you know. I hope our new mayor has something in mind and it can be better, especially in our neighborhood. And speaking of that new mayor, we did reach out to mayor elect Johnson, who told us that he's committed to finding something that will fill the gap. These four Walmarts will leave. We do know that the pharmacy will remain open for an additional 30 days after these doors close. And as for the Walmart Academy, Walmart says they plan to donate it to someone, but no takers just yet. We're live mm -hmm. in Chatham. Sabrina Franza, CBS yeah. 2 News. Interested to see how that develops. Sabrina, thank you.